got us in a trap. In a trap. And wanna keep us in a trap. And wanna keep us in a trap. Critical thinking. Welcome to the Smoking Gun Apothecary, a unique spot on the planet. The first purpose built dispensary in the world. And you'll see that it looks like a gun from space. This building not only sells recreational marijuana, it promotes the idea of the end of prohibition worldwide. Let's go in. You have just stepped into an environment that is like an old speakeasy. On these screens, we have a dedication to the sworn officers who have given their lives in the war of prohibition. We have a lot of history, a lot of education here for the people that stop in that may not know the history on the prohibition and the war on drugs. We're not just in a dispensary here, it's also an experience. Before we enter into the speakeasy, you'll see a sign above the door that says something very interesting. One of the things that we try to uh, let our guests know when they come in, they are actually stepping back in time to 1870, which was five years before the first prohibition law actually went into effect. That was a time when people could actually order opium and heroin and have it delivered direct to their house. At that point in time, the U.S. addiction rate was only one and a half percent. So here we are, the smoke and gun apothecary. You look around the floor, that's called the smoking eagle, you notice? You've got arrows in one hand and cannabis in the other. You look over here, replica jail cell, Mississippi, circa 1941. For what you're buying here today, you would have received a life sentence in Mississippi in 1941. Imagine putting people in jail for life, for a joint. So now we look at the Bank of Hibernia, 1870. These are the actual windows from the Bank of Hibernia. And why did we pick that? Because it was five years before the first drug law was passed. The war on drugs is actually still a huge issue, and that's, that's what most of our stuff is about. Like our mural behind me, just the whole theme of the place has to do with the war on drugs. That fresco is the history of the drug war. Besides product knowledge, we also give info on the war on drugs, and a lot of people don't know why it started, and it was just used to oppress a lot of minorities and that it still is to this day, and so that's why we're trying to do something different here and emphasize the war on drugs and how it needs to change. So many nameless people have fought this war. Two of the most important that nobody's ever heard of were the first arrests made in the marijuana war. Meet Samuel Caldwell. Samuel sold two joints of marijuana to Moses Baca. For his effort, he got 24 months at hard labor. Moses Baca, a little less. 18 months at hard labor in Leavenworth, Kansas. The prison sentence for Mr. Caldwell eventually killed him. He was never healthy when he got out of prison. Over here, my friend Wycliffe. Wycliffe ran for president of Haiti. One talented, interesting man. Our buddy Snoop. Looks like he'd uh, have something to say to Mr. Anslinger if he could get his hands around his neck. We all know who this is. Willie. Willie will tell you today that all of his friends that were drinking lots of booze are gone. However, his friends that are smoking weed are still with us. There's lots of other people who fought this war and lost their lives as well. Right here, Billie Holiday, chained to a bed in Bellevue Hospital, lost her life. One of the greatest singers of all time. Peter McWilliams. Peter was dying of cancer and AIDS taking medication, the marijuana prevented him from becoming ill. Judge said he couldn't have it. He choked to death and drowned in a bathtub. I actually lost my um, parents and my eldest sister to cancer. So part of my goal in coming out here to Denver was to learn more about the industry. I knew that there was a lot of um, very progressive treatments being done in the in the cannabis industry and that was something that wasn't available to my family when they were suffering with cancer so um, it definitely intrigued me uh, to come out here and learn more about the industry and to find out what their options could have been had it been legalized there we can no longer tolerate the devastation that we are wreaking upon ourselves by electing the wrong people to positions of power we want to change it we make a decision to do that we can start changing it right now. Send us your videos, send us your pieces, send us your stories. You can be a part of that, we'll all be a part of that. This screen is going to be dedicated to the video clips that get sent to us from around the world 
of the people who have been enmeshed in the drug war. Anybody that has a voice in this war will be on that screen. We've got to spread this word. We've got to tell everybody about it. We are making history here. Like this is, this is huge and I hope people realize that. Stop prohibition, stop the insanity, and regain our liberty. For critical times, government's not the answer. We need less of that. It's up to the people to take our country back. Cronies own the parties. Corruption's everywhere. Clean it up for the love.